Yo, what's going on internet? Thank you for joining me today. Today what we're going to do is actually do a little review and just go over some of these new colors that I get in from a brand that I never really tried before. Usually when I go to a brand called Nova Color, uh, I'm basically buying gesso or sort of matte medium, but uh, they sell colors as well. So paint, colored paint for you to use on your traditional pieces and murals as well. So I got a ton of the four uh, fluid ounce bottles just to try out a ton of colors just to see how they work. So that's what we're going to do today is do a couple of tests and then do like a little mini sort of sample portrait piece just to see how the colors work and how rich they are the pigment load and just see the quality so let's get to it so the first thing that I did was use this really dark velvet to draw a line and then pick different colors that I would sort of normally pick uh, when doing a sort of portrait painting and use that to just see the quality and the consistency when trying to cover this black line, this velvet dark line, and just see how opaque it was because usually when I'm doing a painting, I don't want to have to go back over, you know, a certain sort of brush stroke. I want to make sure that that first brush stroke, you know, really uh, sort of covered that underlying sort of uh, color or that paint or whatever it is, mainly because, you know, I just want to make sure it's one and done. So just seeing how opaque a lot of these colors were, how much pigment load does each of these colors really have. And overall, I was really satisfied with the coverage of many of the colors. Some of the colors didn't cover as well, but this is sort of uh, typical of, you know, the lighter colors and everything. And I want to add that these are soft body paints, so their consistency is sort of like pudding. So it's easy to work with, easy to spread. And basically, I just went back over again, just uh, on top of these colors with other colors and transparent colors, just to see how these things kind of just work together and worked off of each other. So it was sort of a fun time just being able to spread a lot of these uh, colors on top of each other, just to see how they work together. One of the good things about this uh, Nova Color brand is that they come in the five gallon buckets, gallon buckets, quart pints. So these are the four fluid ounces, but you can get large quantities of these for, you know, large scale projects as well. So now the real fun begins and it begins when I'm able to use these like I would have in any other project. And now we're going to do a sample painting. Uh, creating portraiture because that's mainly what I do and so I basically just put canvas on my table uh, the paints around it and started to paint sort of uh, a little sample portrait uh, just the eye and sort of the surrounding areas and usually I don't know if anyone else does this just you know water down the paint to do the sketching and then after that that's when I start laying down some of the darker colors and really from there it's all about just layering and layering and layering so i start from the darkest areas and sort of come back that's why i was really interested in doing that sort of uh, test uh, over the really dark lines because you know when i'm sort of layering from dark to light it's really important that you know i'm able to sort of cover those darker areas with a lighter color so that's why you know making sure that you know if something says that it's opaque you know the consistency is such that i'm not having to continually go back over that same area again and again you know i just want to be able to sort of cover that area with that color and be done with it so that i can move on to the next color uh, the drying time on these actually was really uh, slow compared to uh, the liquid text and the golden paints especially the the hard body paints that I use, the, these soft body paints from uh, Nova Color sort of was, you know, slower to dry, so I had to sort of wait around a bit. And for me, using the Nova Color paints seemed like I would have to sort of wait around a little bit. I don't know if it was the weather or the temperature in my room, because sometimes when you're having you know, sort of a, a more humid day or a cold day. Sometimes paint can take longer to dry in. You know, I'm making this video in winter time and it's pretty chilly, but you know, it's a lot slower than many of the other colors that I would use. So that's one thing that I had to take note of was the sort of the slow drying time. But you know, it wasn't uh, that bad 
to where I couldn't do anything. I just had to sort of work in different areas while this other area was drying. So like the pupils of the eyeball, you know, it was still wet. So I had to sort of work in different areas and then come back afterwards. So, you know, this is something that I always do. So it didn't cause too much of a problem. It was just something that I wanted to note uh, for anyone else who was really interested in that drying time. But I'm super, super glad that you are able to see the behind the scenes process of how I build up, you know, a portrait or a feature on the face, mainly because I'm not sort of stuck on matching flesh tones to flesh tones. It's like I'm able to use all different types of color and all different hues. Uh, really, it's all about value and how I sort of uh, build form with that value. So for me, I'm able to sort of go from you know, yellows to greens to pinks and just uh, be able to to work around wherever I want to at any point in time. So mixing the colors up with uh, the different other colors from Nova Color uh, worked out really well. I was able to get some, you know, this cool little purplish area that I was working in just a second ago. And then really just like working on um, just making new colors. But one of the colors that I really like that I never used before was this fluorescent red and pink. And basically it really sort of glowed as I was putting it down. So that is like one color that I'm super, super interested in using even more and seeing how that can sort of amplify some of these other colors. But I was super happy with, you know, the coverage of the different colors, especially these yellows when I was doing the highlights, going back over some of the darker areas just to make sure that, you know, I'm able to do that and not have it sort of feel muddy or feel like it was transparent. It covered really well, enough to where, you know, it did the job that I really wanted it to. One great takeaway that I really noticed while doing this sort of sample piece was that they really stretch a long way. So I have four fluid ounces. So, you know, doing multiple, multiple pieces, I know that I will have a lot of these paints for a long time. Some I will use more than others, but for the cost of the paints overall, I think it's really affordable and I'm really loving just like the cost efficiency. So these are something that, you know, I will definitely look into, uh, especially for larger projects and sometimes mural projects that I have indoors. And lastly, one thing that I want to add is that the color fastness is really great. So these will last when, you know, it gets uh, hit by the sun and UV rays. And the other thing that I want to add is that these can be used on canvas, paper, fabrics, wood, plaster, masonry, uh, paper mache, and other non-slick or oily surfaces. So you're able to use these on a ton of different sort of substrates and basically do a ton of different projects. So if you have a mural, you can do it on there. If you have clothing, you can add these paints to clothing so there's a lot of different places where you can add this and because they're soft body paints like I said before they're really easy to work with uh, so if you're a palette knife artist and want to use your palette knife these are you know something that I think are really great um, you'll probably have to sort of thicken it up if you want to sort of create sort of these large textured forms on your canvases but overall I think these are really great for artists to use and to experiment with so definitely get some of your own. So hopefully you like the sample painting that I did and the test that I did with some of the colors just to see how they cover really well and basically the finish on these are more of a satin rather than a sort of gloss or a super matte or super eggshell. Uh, these are more of a satin and some of them finished a little bit more glossy or a little bit more flat depending on the color but most of them worked out really really well and I'm liking it because you know these four ounce bottles really go a long way and it's affordable so each of these were something that I you know sometimes use but like the fluorescent one I never really used before so I'm starting to think about using more of that into my other pieces as well so definitely I hope this video helped you out in terms of just discovering new brands of paint, new different types of paint rather than going to the same old brand that you're used to, exploring sort of these other colors 
And like I said, these are the four ounce bottles. You can get five gallons worth of, you know, a certain color if you want to. So that's why a lot of my friends have been using these colors for murals and large projects. So hopefully this video helped you out and just discovering new things and go out and buy some of your own. I will have a link to the website in the description so that you can go to the website and purchase, you know, four ounce bottle kits and just experiment. So definitely check that out and I will see you next time. Peace.